yo, these plot twists just keep fucking coming. 817 of One Piece. So Momonosuke is actually the heir to Wano. I'm, I'm, I'm going to say this. I don't remember when it was, but I do remember saying it was odd how uh, Momonosuke and <coughs> Kanema were acting. Because there was one moment where I was like, if you're a father, you wouldn't behave in this way. I forgot where it was. I want to say... It was towards the end of Punk Hazard, or it was someplace uh, on Dress Rosa. But I remember thinking that shit was odd, man. I remember thinking that that was odd. But <coughs> here's what's got me as far as this reveal with Momonosuke. Oda felt the need to keep this a secret. And you got Kanemon saying, like, our enemies will come down upon us. And so, let's look at it from this perspective. Everywhere that they've been has been associated with this motherfucker Kaido, okay? Like, Punk Hazard, they're on the island. Kaido has uh, Caesar doing experiments there. Then they go to Dress Rosa. If I'm not mistaken, I think they said that they need to go to Dress Rosa. That's right, because Kondro is there. So, Momonosuke is there. He just happens to get put on a thing with all these kids. And they were all traveling together and they get separated. But here's, here's the thing. If they lied about one thing, what's to say they've been lying all, all, all these other times too? Were they really traveling together and got separated? or And just keeping up appearances for everybody? Or was this all part of a plan? And the reason why I say that is... You got a ninja, a motherfucker who's stealthy, move through shadows, like he says. But this shit don't add up. It's very fucking convenient that you got one stranded on the island where Caesar's doing experiments. And a child who would fit in perfectly just happens to be there. Just happens to be there. And then on Dress Rosa... The other one who can hide himself using art and everything just happens to be there gathering information. That's what this motherfucker was doing. Can't tell me otherwise. <clears throat> and now Rizo is on the island where you can hide. Island's constantly moving. I'm guessing this is like the check waypoint before you get to Wano. What the fuck is Kaido? Like, is is this all Kaido territory? I think it is. Because Dressrosa was under his watch. But what are these three samurai, or the two samurai and uh, Raizo the ninja, what is their connection with Kaido? What is Momonosuke's connection with Kaido? Because Oda has to be building that. He has to be building that. At this point, this shit's fucking obvious. At this point, it's fucking obvious, man. Like... Oda tries to hide it. He does a really good job of it. He tries to hide it with all these silly antics with Momonosuke grabbing on Nami's boobs and people saying he's a perverted imp. Luffy and Momonosuke fighting. Luffy saying, I don't give a fuck if you are royalty. I'm not treating you any fucking differently. And then Luffy proceeds to give him them hands, right? And when Nami, you know, Nami knows she's being groped, but she puts up with it. She's like, oh, yeah, you're, you're, you're pretty important. You know, I'm guessing your father has a lot of treasure. And Zoro Usopp's like, don't you dare rob this kid's family. All this other shit. But this is the main thing. Oda has been hiding this shit. He's been hiding it. This was like the perfect smoke screen. And this is the thing. Like, when you look at it from a craft perspective, you got the Sanji shit going on. It pulls your attention one way. And then you pay off this scene here. And now you're scrambling trying to catch up to everything that happened from when they first met Kanemon and Momonosuke and... Conjuro, Oda setting up another plot twist. He's setting up another plot twist. I don't know what it is, but usually when authors use so much diversion, they they don't want you to see what's coming. They 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 are laying the seeds for it, and it pays off if you read it and you catch on to what they're doing. But Oda's telegraphing that there's one more punch coming. Authors like to use stuff in threes when they start doing stuff like this. You got Sanji with leaving in the Revelation. He's getting married. He's part of the Ben Smoke family. You got Momonosuke and his whole thing. I guess you could kind of lump Jack being alive into it, but I don't really count that. Like 
There's one more big thing coming. There's one more big thing. There's one more big thing coming on here. I don't know what it is, but I do like, I think I know what it is now. <laughs> I know someone's like, Jesus. I, I mean, that's what happens in unscripted reviews, but like, I think I know what it is now, because Nico Robin sees the pwn glyph and is like, why is this pwn glyph red? Good fucking question. Why is the pwn glyph red? And there's some other stuff that gets pointed out in this that makes me scratch my head for a second. The first one is the pwn glyph is red. They know about what happened on O'Hara. Nico Robin is reading it. And so you know she's going to crack this shit. I mean, Nico Robin is just a smart bitch, man. Like, I, need, I like Nico Robin. I throw shade at him. I like her. But if you go back to when Conjuro, not Conjuro, when uh, Kanemon shows his crest, right? And they start talking. Right after he shows his crest, and Nami is just like, oh, Nami looks so sexy in that fucking photo, too. Excuse me, that, that uh, panel. But she, when she says that, that, that dog and kitty have the crest, too. Maybe the bond between them is deeper than we realize. Like, okay, Oda, you distract me with some Nami eye candy. I almost fell for that shit, okay? Because she just looking like a straight princess right now. I, I put Nami on a magic carpet and sing her whatever songs she want to hear. <laughs> yeah, but yo, okay, so right here, like, Kanemon, right? He's talking, he's like, I'll be honest, Dog Storm and Cat Viper. I'm surprised that both of you are still alive. Okay, okay. I'm surprised that both of you are still alive. The fuck is older trying to say that? Because that implies, that implies that he's known them for a long time. And he don't know about like the, the butchering and slaughter and all this other stuff that happened before. He don't know that shit. So what he's trying to say is like, oh, okay, I'm surprised he's still alive as in old age. So how long has he fucking known them? You know, because in the One Piece world, if I'm not mistaken, like, these motherfuckers live a long-ass time. Like, Dr. Hero look was old as fuck. Kareha, you know, I used to call her the, uh, I think I called her the quack, and I called uh, Hero look the quack doctor. <clears throat> Kareha, all the way back on Drum Island, she was old. These dog, that, like, the Dog Storm and Cat Viper, both of them are old as fuck. Conjuro's not that old. Well, I don't know. Conjuro got some white hair. But Kanemon ain't old. Kanemon isn't old. Momonosuke damn sure isn't old. And Momonosuke is like, if father saw you guys fighting, father wouldn't approve. So Momonosuke is young. Unless they're trying to say that this little dude is like a fucking short person and doesn't grow over three feet. I forgot what they call him. It's not imp. Uh, and midget's the wrong term. I forgot what it is. Unless they're trying to say that's what he is. And it explain why, you know, when he's, you know, groping on Nami, he's just got some mannish looking features, okay? You know, but this shit don't add up. This shit don't add up, man. I'm betting you Nico Robin when she read that pawn glove, we're going to get an answer to this shit. Because this shit don't add up. This shit don't add up at all. This shit don't add up at all, man. What the fuck? This shit don't add up. Momonosuke is too young. To sit there and be like, yo, I know these people too. My dad know you. Now, that shit don't add up. Somebody let me know down in the comment section. This is my chapter question, man. This is my chapter question. Okay? I like the whole ninja arts and everything, you know, because I like the Naruto stuff. But, like, I like that whole sequence. But Momonosuke, well, how old is Momonosuke? Because I forgot, man. He was on, he was on, uh, Punk Hazard. He was on Punk Hazard, and he was in the same age range as those kids. So how old is this dude? I'm trying to figure out what in the world would make uh, Kanemon say, Oh, shit, I didn't know you guys would still be alive. I want to know what the fuck is going on here. But, as always, guys, if you like anything I had to say, don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, and share. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. Have an awesome day, guys.